Hi, good afternoon. This is Thorne from Dream Development and Design. How are you doing? It's really good to sit with you and talk with you one-on-one -on -one like this. It really excites me. Um, it's good to be comfortable. It's good to enjoy what you do. And it's good to enjoy the people around you. I really enjoy people. I really enjoy especially odd people. Because a normal person, you can find their dime a dozen. They're normal. That's what the word implies, that the, most people are like that. Uh, even though everybody is unique in some way, as far as societal behaviors and norms and what is acceptable in groups, we have come to become very normal generally. So it's really good to, 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 to enjoy a person and to enjoy their, their quirkiness. Today, I want to talk about being responsible. Now, before you continue watching this video, I would let you know that after looking at this, you will now know certain things that you will no longer have any excuses uh, in terms of taking control of your own life. Now, when you look at your life, I want you to come to understand you are responsible, okay? You are responsible for everything that you feel and the way that you interpret everything around you and everything that has happened to you. Now, a lot of people don't believe this. A lot of people will say, hey, I was, I, was, I was driving and somebody come hit, hit me from behind. How am I responsible for that? Well, you were thinking very, you were thinking like thoughts. So when you got into an accident, when that person hit you, the feeling that you got that was uh, amplified, you were vibrating that feeling or thinking those type of thoughts way before that accident occurred. So you are responsible. Now, it's not a bad thing. It's awesome being responsible. It's awesome knowing that Jesus or Allah or God is not doing things to you. Because it, it, it become really, and I will use it, but if it's really fucked up, if, uh, if, if the gods per se are murdering or allowing murder and rape of little kids and, and human trafficking. So we, we, we must take responsibility as a, as a society for ourselves. We must take responsibility for, for our own lives as individual, okay? Um, Michael Jackson and many others talk about the man in the mirror. And that's you, okay? That's me. So then one, take responsibility of your own self. Do some introspection, okay? Do some reading into your own thoughts and your own habits, once you realize that you're responsible for everything that occurs in your life, yes, there comes a certain power. I mean, when you really realize it, you might hear me say it and, you know, it might mean nothing to you. But when you realize, God damn, I'm responsible for everything. It now liberates you to transcend all, uh, uh, anything that may have been restricting you that you thought, oh, I'm black, so... Oh, I have dreads, or I'm too short, I can't be a model, or I'm not fast enough to be a soccer player. All those things are all in your mind, okay? So once you realize that you are responsible, then none of those things could stop you. None. Nothing could stop you, okay? I don't suggest you run around naked. That's still illegal. But uh, within acceptable, you know, um, social comforts, okay? P personal space and, and so on. You could do whatever you want, you know, be confident about it and use it to your advantage. So you are responsible for everything in your life. Let that be a liberating statement. Let that be a statement that causes you to now go out into the world and conquer and dominate. Don't compete. Average people compete. They compete among each other for scraps, okay? Bosses ballers, kings, queens, whatever you want, what, whoever you look up to, they dominate because they do not compete with average people. Average people are awesome. There's nothing wrong with them. I love them. But some of us feel the need to, one, change themselves or the world in some way, acquire some form of recognition, acquire some great wealth so that they can help people or just for their personal enjoyment. Nothing is wrong with that. Whatever the case is, you are responsible. Enjoy the fact that you now know this and go out there and do exactly what you want. If there is something that you're doing that you don't like, stop doing it. Stop. You don't need to. You see, we attach ourselves to the past. So we think that 
this is how it's going to happen if I do this, or this is how long it takes. Usually, these restrictions are self-imposed, okay? Every year or two years, the 100-meter the record is broken. Why? That's because it could be broken, okay? But if you sat in 98 and you say, oh, 10 seconds is the fastest anybody could run 100 meters, then it would still be 10-second record. But that's not the case. There are people out there who do not limit, to the, limit themselves to the past, and they go out and they dominate and they conquer. So it's up to you to go out and dominate and conquer. Have a great evening.